Okay, Aries, you're next. There's manipulation here. And some stalking. Possibly something is somebody you were committed to or you found something out through stalking. Doesn't have to be stalking, stalking. It can be Facebook stalking, driving by somebody's house. Um, just any form of it in general. I don't think it's anybody hiding in your bushes or anything. Or you hiding in somebody else's bushes. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or you might have this in your chart. This is someone that holds their emotions back, also emotionally balanced. Could be a drinker. You yeah, that or you're taking on that energy of... Basically wearing your emotions on your sleeve. You want to build with someone. Kind of like a group effort type of thing. But you're out in the cold. Or you feel out in the cold. Or your person could feel out in the cold. You're not healing either. This is working on your abundance. Either that or you have an earth sign that's already abundant coming in. You're wanting to make an offer. Slow and steady to build a foundation. Build something from the ground up. Kind of looking at what you have and I don't know for me sometimes this is looking at yourself and finding the root of the problem but it uh, could be looking but you're not healing so whenever you see whatever is a deeper meaning you're not processing that. You have your abundance. Either that or you're trying to get yourself together before you give this offer. For a long term security. You're, you're wanting to give someone something tangible. It could be a deep rooted type of commitment. It's also a new beginning. But you're in your head about it. Yeah, that or you wanted this new beginning. And it's at a slow pace, so. The wheel. You're moving towards being single and abundant. Um, the Queen of Cups is here too, so. You're using your intuition about work. Or it could be just you, uh, you're you single and abundant right now. Possibly dealing with a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. And you guys need to work on something. Or you're in your head about working on something. There's a lot of earth here. 
uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Most of this is money. So you, you could be getting, uh, well, it's tax time. So taxes might be coming in soon. And then you have thought. You only have, there's not much emotion. All you're worried about is work right now. Calling in your soulmate. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So yeah, there is somebody that you're going for in the midst of work. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So this person may have kids, you may have kids, or there's a baby mama, baby daddy issues going on. So let's free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So you need to work on yourself. And I'm pretty sure that's what you're doing in this because all you're focused on is work. You're not focused on healing. You're not focused on emotion. You're not focused on anything else but your money. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you guys might be separated right now. Or this is... You are about to be separated. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And then at the bottom it says this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So we're going to get into your person's energy. Your person's getting out of this stuck state. And trying to persevere, trying to ignore the people that basically drag them down. Could be trying to find balance. Yeah, yeah, it could be going through court right now. This is also a card of balance, balance and patience, and this is balance or court card. Okay, your person has a new uh, passionate beginning on their mind. They could have fire in their chart as well, but they're juggling it. So they don't know what to do. King of Cups. They might be trying to balance their emotions too along with this. Hold on, baby. Go. No. No, 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 no. You're not getting it. No. You're not. No, uh, uh me. You're not. I told you no. Just because you give me a hug doesn't mean you can have it. They're juggling whether or not because this is you, Aries. This is the Emperor card. This is authority figure. Could be someone in the military. Could be um, anyone in uniform, a father figure. So they're trying to decide whether to have a new beginning or 
be with you. They're really trapped in their head about it. They want this long-term security and definite. They're wanting a new beginning regardless. But they're in their head. Like this decision is weighing heavily. This is like an offer for long-term security. Just like it was in yours. You guys had the exact same card. They're having sleepless nights about it. Actually keeping themselves up at night. Trying to figure out. This could be your energy as well. Like the other person could have been your person. Yeah, they're going into hermit mode. They're not wanting to talk. They're wanting to get their thoughts straight and then come to you. This turned around, so I'm going to keep it. Um, it's reminiscing. Could be, it's like nostalgia. Um, it could be a reunion. Your person could have Scorpio, Virgo, Aries. They feel out in the cold. They're remembering the good times. Could be dreaming. And that's probably why they don't sleep at night as well. Because this decision is affecting them pretty hardcore. Either this is, or this is you. You possibly feel out in the cold. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, this is obsessive thinking addictions um they could have heavy earth in their chart i'm not going to take those because they were already but the high priestess was there as well so they're trying to use their intuition on this situation yeah they're wanting to move forward And it was right over the devil, so they're trying to get away from that obsessive type of thinking or addiction, whatever addiction they had. Yeah, there's hope here. Yeah. They're working on themselves. Yeah, I'm trying to transform. This could also be an ending. Where something ends so that something else can begin. Or this is this person. You could be dealing with somebody with Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Aries. Because right now, I don't, your person has no emotion except for the memories. Like, they're trying to cut out emotion in order to make this decision. Yeah. Either they're moving slowly towards walking away or they're moving slowly towards giving an offer. With judgment at the bottom. So, so they're awakening to some, to the fact that they have to take emotions out of this. Is how I feel anyways. Either that or awakening to the fact that they need to make an offer. So I don't know if this resonated. But it could be you or your partner. I'm going to get one more about this offer. So... Whatever offer is there, or whatever they're moving towards, they feel the loss. And that's why they're trying to keep out of their emotions. Because it's a burden, and these cycles are ending. Reunion. They want contentment, friendship. 
Two of Cups is a soul tie. So whether or not this person is moving away or moving toward slowly towards you. They've had something major happen in their life to where they feel at a loss. Whether it is you or whether it is them. Again, there needs there needs to be healing. At the bottom of the deck, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. It says release your ex in reverse. So this might be an ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you don't want to release this person or this person doesn't want to release you. It says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So your person might be talking to people about what to do in this situation. Or, again, it could be you. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So you stop talking to this person. Like... On that intimate level, you know? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, yeah, maybe they're feeling the loss. And they're wanting to come towards you with an offer. And engagement doesn't necessarily mean that you have to... There has to be a ring. It could be... You guys... If you guys are friends... Obviously, there's a past here. If you guys are friends after a separation, then you might get together. If you're already together, you could be moving in together, buying a car together, um, getting a house together, um, getting engaged. If you're engaged, you could be getting married. Let your friends help you again. So yeah, this person is definitely seeking advice about a reconciliation. Whether or not they should reconcile. Alright Aries, that's your reading. I'll see you guys later. Have a good evening.